turned up to this one today we're quoting customer called me and said they wanted the hive system fitted so we popped around to have a look as you can see we've got an ideal heat only boiler we've got two hardwired stats so have a look in the air and cupboard so we've got an s plan plus with three zone valves so we saw the switch fuse spur was down by the boiler so we know we've got power down there with it being an S Plan Plus system, we know we've got permanent live in the airing cupboard. To fit the hive to this, we're gonna need the dual hive and then we're gonna need the multi-zones added. So to work out the price of this job, I'm gonna open my quote folder. And I've got a specially prepared quoting form ready for things like this. I've left the customer's details and address and stuff blank, obviously. And the prices of labor cost per hour will vary depending on where you are. So I won't add that in as well. So the first section is job required, so we want the hive system fitted. You'll have to excuse my writing. So existing, it's an S Plan Plus system with a heat only boiler. Like we stated before, we know there's going to be a permanent live up in the airing cupboard because it's an S Plan system anyway. So materials required, we're going to need the hive dual channel. And then for the additional heating zone, we're going to need the Hive multi-zone. This enables you to add that to the Hive app. Then we're going to need some of the plastic fascias to cover where the old programmer went. So that's a double. And then where one of the old room stats are. Customer prefers these to be accessible at a later date, just in case they ever need to. Once you've worked out the materials that you need, you can literally hand that form to the merchants and then they can fill in the material cost at the bottom. Like I said, I've left material cost blank as well. So labor time, I think this is gonna take me three hours. Again, profit margins range, but I'd look at like 7%. So again, there's a section here where I can draw a diagram. This is helpful to use if you take this quote in form with you actually on the job. It was too difficult for me to draw, film and look at the job all in one go, so I did this bit after. So it just reminds me that the boiler and the switch through spur are next to each other. So I know the boiler will st still have its permanent live. And then up in the airing cupboard we've got three zones. We've got two heating zones and one hot water zone. I use HTG as heating and HW as hot water, just in case you didn't know. Then we'll have two receivers up in the air and cupboard because one's a dual, so one will have heating and hot water and the other one will be heating on its own. So we know then we've got to connect those to the zone valves. Just making a note about having permanent live in the airing cupboard because these notes are handy to keep anyway because if the customer doesn't go with the job straight away and comes back to you a few months later you can literally whip out this form and you've got all the information again you don't have to go and quote it again so we know there's only one core that goes down as a switch life to fire the boiler so essentially we've worked out that we don't need to get cables from anywhere else we can get everything we need from in that airing cupboard And then the formula that you can use to come to the total is three hours. So basically labor time plus materials. Plus whatever percent your profit margin is. And that'll give you a quote total. That's another one done. Happy days.